for thousands of years in places we now call Vancouver and Victoria. First Nations people lived in plank houses, modular, expandable structures with curtain wall construction, meaning walls were hung on the structure and did not support it. Plank houses had two rows of large cedar posts with long sloping beams. Rafters held cedar roof planks. Two poles held wall planks hung between them on cedar rope. There were no windows. The inside was lit by front and back doors. Apartments were on both sides of an interior aisle. They had earth floors, but each family had a raised platform around its fire pit. Mats were hung to separate family areas. One person kept the roof from leaking and adjusted smoke holes. As population grew, houses could be extended. First peoples had winter homes and temporary summer homes. Wall planks could be moved by canoe and could be inherited and passed along through marriage. The western red cedar was called the tree of life. It could be made into canoes, posts, beams, and many useful items. Most coastal peoples passed inheritance through the female. Their social hierarchy was a large upper class, a small excluded class, and slaves taken from enemy groups. The Hualmach, a Salishan people, likely originated just south of the Fraser River and spread from there. But their inheritance was through the male. The plank house was different from the big house of the northern people, which had fixed floor plates and elaborate art on the outside. Southern homes were extendable. Pole carvings and art were inside. They practiced the potlatch, giving lavish gifts to neighbors who came to validate status and access to resources. In the 1790s, the northern Lequiltoc obtained guns through the maritime fur trade. For decades, they came south in the summer, using their advantage to kill and take slaves. Holmach villages moved away from the coast to more defensive positions. Fort Langley from 1827 balanced this by providing arms. Some moved to it for protection. Holmach warriors became skilled at volley firing. In 1840, several tribes combined to annihilate an armada of northerners at Maple Bay. Large-scale raids ended. Villages returned to the coast. New techniques from Victoria led native builders to reform and then abandon the plank house. 150 years after the plank house disappeared, a different kind of multifamily home with curtain wall construction would rise on this ancient land.